Hi, I'm Dr. Ancy Verdier from Worcester Periodontics. Today we'll be talking about peri-implant disease. As we know, you can get inflammation around teeth and you can also get them around implants. So nothing's foolproof these days, but we can control it. So let's talk about diagnosis first. The first thing is that you can get peri-implant mucositis, much like gingivitis around teeth, whereas you get inflammation around the gingival tissue, but you don't get any loss of attachment. There's bleeding upon probing, but no, again, no attachment loss. Then you have peri-implantitis. This is a little tricky here because now you're getting a loss of bone and you're also getting a loss of tissue. So what causes it? A lot of times it's excessive occlusal forces on the implant, retention of the excess, of the excess cement, and also lack of keratinized gingiva. Prevention. We should think about why are we getting this? How can we prevent it? The one thing that we can do is that we can think about opening up the embrasure spaces between the implants so cleansability can happen. The next thing you have to think about is how are we going to treat it? One is surgical and non-surgical. Non-surgical is maybe chemotherapeutics like Arrestin and Periostat. The second is maybe scaling and replanning. But we also have open flap debridement, which is surgical, with regeneration. And the third is really laser treatment. Now this is the most promising one. Here, you're not really opening up the area, but you're still being able to debride and de disinfect the area. And that's the key with the laser therapy. And those, those are the results that we're seeing. We're seeing regeneration without the loss of tissue or the loss of bone, but actual regeneration. This is Dr. Antiverdier from Worcester Periodontics.